Item number SCP-891 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-891 is to be surrounded by a one-half kilometer buffer zone purchased by the Foundation under the guise of a peach farm. Foundation agents are to deter any civilians from entering SCP-891. A 10-meter fence is to surround SCP-891 in order to prevent unauthorized entry. Intruders discovered within the grounds of SCP-891 are to be apprehended, administered Class A amnestics, and released. Planting vegetation of any kind in SCP-891 requires the permission of Level 4 personnel. Apple trees are never to be planted in SCP-891. All animals that carry the potential to deposit apple seeds via fecal matter in SCP-891 are to be deterred from entering SCP-891. Any vegetation that sprouts in SCP-891 as a result of seed deposition by wind, bird, or other natural causes is to be immediately incinerated. Description SCP-891 is a field located in California. The dimensions of SCP-891 are one and a half by one kilometers. Any plant that bears edible fruit is able to grow in SCP-891, regardless of previous soil or climate needs. Plants planted in SCP-891 experience moderately accelerated growth and seem to require abnormally small amounts of water and sunlight to grow. Fruits produced by plants inside SCP-891 are larger than average and have been said to, quote, look delicious, end quote. Chemical analysis has revealed that compounds responsible for producing appealing texture, flavor, and aroma are abnormally high in SCP-891's fruit. Attempts by Foundation staff to render the soil of SCP-891 incapable of supporting vegetation have been unsuccessful. Salting SCP-891 had no effect. However, once salted soil was removed from the grounds of SCP-891, it behaved as expected and did not support vegetation. Attempting to ingest any fruit, with the exception of apples, grown in SCP-891 results instead in the consumption of the subject's own internal organs. Autopsies have revealed that damage to internal organs is consistent with bite patterns made by subjects on bitten fruit. Most subjects, even after the initial bite, continue to consume the fruit, claiming that it, quote, is delicious, end quote. Subjects are oblivious to any pain that would normally arise from extensive damage to the internal organs, as well as to the fact that they are consuming their organs, as opposed to a fruit. After three to four bites, the subject usually dies of internal bleeding and trauma, though subjects can remain alive if the targeted organ is non-vital. Cutting, slicing, or usage in cooking does not negate the fruit's effects. Consumption of apples grown within SCP-891 results in data expunged. It is unknown why apples are the only fruit to produce such an effect, though it is hypothesized that consumption of the apples results in a reverse data expunged. The first and only known instance of data expunged resulted in foundation casualties. Died later as a result of third-degree burns sustained during the attempt to contain data expunged. Agents vanished entirely from the immediate area. Foundation tracking devices were unable to pinpoint their location. Data expunged pending classification as an SCP object, though its nature may prevent effective containment. Addendum 891-A SCP-891 was brought to the Foundation's attention when an abnormal number of missing person reports was filed in California. All missing persons were last seen at Strawberry Farms, the previous name of SCP-891. Police and government investigations did not return within 72 hours, which alerted Foundation members stationed in the nearby city of 
Foundation staff eventually apprehended the owner of the farm. Searches of Rand's house revealed data expunged, and psychological testing found to be clinically insane. It was subsequently terminated. No apple trees were found when SCP-891 was originally recovered. It is possible that Mrs. Rand was unaware of data expunged. Since the Foundation's acquisition of SCP-891, there have been counts of natural deposition of seeds in SCP-891. 75% of these natural depositions have been the deposition of apple seeds. It is unknown if the disproportionate number of apple seeds being sown by natural causes in SCP-891 is an effect of SCP-891 or simply bad luck. Despite the Foundation's efforts to prevent fecal deposition of apple seeds within SCP-891, apple saplings are reported to spring up on a semi-regular basis. It is unknown how these seeds are sown in SCP-891. Requests for reclassification to Euclid have been denied. Due to the nature of data expunged, permanent construction of a rapid response establishment around SCP-891 is under consideration. Addendum 891-B Analysis of documents found within Rand's home has revealed Rand's history of misanthropy and paranoia. Certain texts, notable in that they are not written in Rand's handwriting, seem to be primitive blueprints for SCP-891. Efforts are being taken by the Foundation to discover the artist. Notes made by Rand in the margins indicate that Rand had little understanding of the content of the blueprints. A recipe was found within Rand's kitchen for a cherry, peach, raspberry, and blueberry fruitcake. Bodies were found in Rand's backyard. Internal organs of bodies were found to be pulverized beyond recognition. Addendum 891-C On a batch of fruit exhibiting properties identical to those found in SCP-891-grown fruit was found to have reached a supermarket in It is believed that this was caused by a security data expunged, though it is unknown if data expunged. Fortunately, no apples were present in the delivery. All witnesses have been administered Class B amnesics. Casualties have been attributed to a gas leak. Foundation investigations, in order to determine the source of said fruit, are underway. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-890, The Rocket Surgeon, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.